Hello everyone, I'm Steve. Mark's around. Say hi, Mark. This is Smokey Steve and Mark. Welcome or welcome back. Welcome to another Steve Will Try It. So we've been having a lot of fun actually, making these videos and then getting them released and stuff. It's been a chance to try different products, usually food related, um, cookbook recipes, different stuff like that. Um, and tonight we're going to continue on that theme. So tonight we're going to be looking at the caloric air fryer oven. Um, this was something that we had come on to a few years ago, I believe. And I had seen them on TV forever, so of course I was all geeked out when we got one. But is anything ever as good as it looks on TV? So we'd been using it for a lot of the basic functions, which you'll see in a little bit. Um, but I'd only tried the rotisserie function once, and it was to mixed results. So tonight, we're going to rotisserie a chicken in the caloric, and we'll see what's what. Now, we're going to go by their directions from caloric.com. So for times and temperatures, that's where it was pulled from. We'll see if that was helpful by the time this is over. Um, so that's where we're going to pull it from. And the directions also can be found on caloric.com. So if you have one and you're thinking, how do I get the spit onto the rotisserie? Um, which one is best for air frying? Stuff like that. All the stuff is there for that, too. So I'm excited to give it a whirl. I'm probably going to need some help. Like when I say I don't like I've once and fumbled. Um, rotisseries are not really my shtick. Uh, so I'm probably going to be able to put it together and then we'll see. And everyone makes rotisserie chicken. Every store you go to, it's the smell hits you. Except Ikea. They smell like cinnamon buns. But the smell that hits you. You go into Walmart. Like, it's tempting to get one when you get in and just nibble along the way. <laughs> so we're going to see if we can recreate something similar to that at home. So please join me in the kitchen. We'll get a little more acquainted. And we'll see what's what with the rotisserie on our caloric air fryer oven. Welcome to the SSAM News Desk, and we have some exciting news for you. The company Caloric has just released its Hot Max advertising campaign, and it's self-described as trendy and happy and provocative. Hmm, and we have a sneak peek exclusively just for you. Girl, all my friends keep getting burnt and deep fried by jerks. I'm craving a healthy relationship. Yeah, someone who knows how to butter my biscuits. Hey, you talking about me? I finally found a good one. Smart, so hot, powerful. Max knows exactly what he's doing. Tell me more. Max is big, but not too big. And he never flakes on me. Who are you calling flaky? Wow, I'm dreaming of getting my wings on Max and... And what? And what? Oh, come on. Bonsoir, mesdemoiselles. Bonsoir, beautiful. Oh, menage et toi. Do you need some oil to get things started? No need. Just this finger. It's better this way. Are you sure? Oui. You won't regret this in the morning. With the big French doors, everyone can see. I like it when they want. Steak? I uh, promised a good time. Not a long time. I promised you a good time, not a long time? What? Now that's one fine chick. What's cooking good looking? I like the way you move. You can't handle all this, boys. Look at her. I've never gotten this hot this fast. I don't know how much longer I can take it. Good thing I'm self-basting. Oh boy, I think I'm popping. I think I'm popping. Amateurs. Hot fast, made with Max. Well, there you have it. Caloric's brand new Hot Max advertising campaign. You're welcome. I, I think. Steve? Why, thank you, Mark. So here we are, we're in the kitchen, and we are going to visit our friend, the Caloric gossip a little bit about it. So this is the actual machine. Um, 
this was something we've had for a while. We've tried different features on it. We've um, gone through a few of them, actually. Air fry is the big one. So the machine does quite a bit, but air fry is probably the one we do most often. It has a fan in the top convection that blows that. Chicken. Apparently, you can just set it for chicken, which we'll be doing today. Warm, which is awesome. That's like 280 or something. Um, ribs never made. Shrimp never made. Steak never made. Wings never made. Bacon never made. Fish, corn, made fries, they're good. Fries are very, very tasty. I just started dehydrating in it, too. There's a dehydrator setting. It goes three hours at about 130 degrees. You can do it with your oven if it goes that low, too. But you load it in, and they stay top of the vent. In three hours, you have your own fruit roll-ups, and you didn't even have to go out to the store. Pretty cool. Bake, broil, pastry, pizza, proof, roast, and toast. It does a lot. It does a whole lot, okay? It also comes with different pans that go in. So, this is the fry basket. Whenever we air fry anything, this is what we usually use it for, or even reheating pizza or toasting a bagel. Um, goes in and out, lets the air circulate. This is just your plain old plain old. You can put a cake pan on it, whatever you're baking. It's just like a rack in your regular oven. This is for bacon. You know when we found out? 20 minutes ago. <laughs> this is supposed to be for bacon. Baking it, you know, a lot of people bake their bacon. And then, like, the broiler tray. So if you're doing a steak or something, you know, I remember my dad used to make a London broil on this, like, once a week in the summer times as a kid. So those are all of those. The other accessory it has is the rotisserie. So, everyone has rotisserie chicken. They're $4.99, $5.99, $6.99 in every store you go to. They smell delicious, and they make you take them home. Uh, we're going to try the rotisserie. We tried it a long time ago, and I fumbled through it. So we're going to see if I'm any smarter, and we'll try to go through it again. Uh, the rotisserie, items that come with it, okay? It's a spit. <laughs> that has to have parts taken off of it to loosen up, because if you've seen a rotisserie, the chicken goes on a spit and it rotates. This has a rotisserie function to it. So we have to get the chicken balanced. It has to go through, and then we're going to hold it in tight. It's been tied already. You can tell Mark didn't do it. There's probably four strings around this, but you need to secure the legs and the wings so it's in one as tight as possible bundle, so it's not flopping all around inside and the wings all dancing and the whatnot. So he wrapped it up pretty tight. It's good to go. We're going to season it. Seasoning, every recipe I saw was different. Mark had suggested this, Joe's Kansas City Fry Seasoning. He said it'd be good, and the ingredients look good. Garlic powder, paprika, all the good stuff. So, we're gonna go in heavy. I mean, heavy. On both sides, all over it. Fry seasoning was the one that I was most interested in adding myself. And the back, and the little wings, and all that. And make sure you've cleaned out giblets and gizzards and all that fun stuff, because if you wrap it up and cook them inside, you're going to have a very different dinner than you thought. So make sure you check that out. And you can give it a rinse, too, if you want. This one was pretty dry, because it was out while we were setting up. So, okay. That is a seasoned chicken. Okay, so give me a second to get myself together, and I'm come back, and we're going to show you how we fit it onto rotisserie and get it into the machine. Okay? Very nice, huh? I had a little assistance uh, getting this centered on the spit. The concern that if it's not centered and the weight's not even going around, more or less, is that it'll go for two hours till it's done or however long. 
Um, one second before we go further, our last step is just to put this in and then set the time. Um, depending on your perspective, gloves might be good for something like this. I know if you put the gloves on and touch everything, it's the same as your hand, but if you don't like the feel of raw meat, uh, we really do want to get this all rubbed in, gloves can be definitely something to have. String to tie up the chicken. You don't need to be a pro. Uh, Mark looked up some directions and they confused me at the end of the day. So we went simple, but having something to tie up it. According to Kathy Mitchell, you can use dental floss and it's oven safe and will hold as well. Kitchen thermometer. No matter what the time says, no matter how long it says it takes, it's got to hit 165 for chicken uh, for it to be considered safe. This one goes in. You can look at the time. You could also, which came with our machine, have a probe thermometer, which you can put into the meat and then it will let you know when it gets up to a certain temperature. When it hits 165, it'll let you know. Now, the rotisserie, I don't think it'll work because it's going to be rolling all over the place. Um, but for other meats, or if you do a roasted, it's not a bad little item to have. All right. Should we go for it? This is the big uh, portion. All right. So, you guys can take a look at the inside, too. This is the drip tray on the bottom. This has been tidied up. I can see. Thank you, cameraman. Um... And then the heating elements are down here, and then there's a fan with a heating element on the top. It has two functions, air fry and bake. So if you hit bake, you get, I'll show you that. Air fry. And that's all of the ones we did here. They're all lit up. It starts with air fry. On the other side is bake. Bake will do this bottom row of things. So bake, broil, pastry, pizza, proof. That's a lot of alliteration. Um, do use that. But we're gonna go with the air fryer. We're doing air fried rotisserie. And from the caloric website, stop it. Okay. From the caloric website, they recommended using the chicken setting. We'll put it in and the rotisserie function automatically starts. And from that point on, it said use, um, I'll get it when we close it. The chicken setting they have, which is 435 for 40 minutes, I believe. So we're going to give that the time. But again, keep the thermometer. So we're going to load it in. The long piece over here is different than this one. This one with the notch in it is going to go on the left side. This one goes on the right. So that piece goes in. And then the other piece goes right there. And it's, it's levitating. All right, so we're going to close it up. Chicken. That's the setting we're going to be using. Okay? And it should just go. Let's see if it's spinning. If you hear a whoomp thump, then the weight's off a little. A little of that is okay, but you might actually screw it up or hit the chicken on the cooking element or anything like that. But we seem to be good. The cameraman seems to be really good at cooking. So um, this is going to go on their time for 40 minutes. At 40 minutes, I'll open it up and we'll temp it. If it looks like it's turning black before that, we'll intervene and let you know. But otherwise, we'll see you in 40. We are at 170. So that's six over what we need. We're okay. So I'm gonna this will take them out of here. There's a towel. And we're gonna put them over here on the cutting board and we're gonna let it rest. Um, before we even take the spit rod out, we're gonna let it rest. And it's hot. It smells good. Ta da! Rotisserie chicken. We're going to give this 10 minutes and I'll pry it off of here and um, serve it up and I'll catch you back on the couch, I guess. We'll see.
Hey guys, hey Mark invading Steve will try it again. So okay, you may be wondering what happened to Sophia. You know, we were watching the Sophia Chia head to see, you know, see how she grew over over the weeks. <laughs> and she didn't grow. Epic fail. What? And you wanna know why? Well, first of all, we forgot to water her. I can't believe it, but we forgot to water her. Secondly, the seeds were expired, and I mean expired by more than two years. So the story behind the Sophia Chia head was, it was sent into us as a gift from a viewer, thank you very much. Then she got lost, and we moved and found her. Now I knew we had her for a little while, but I didn't realize we had her for that long. So of course it didn't work, right? But never fear, I got some new chia seeds. Oh yes, I did. And we redid Sophia. Doesn't she look pretty? And the seeds even look better now. And she's watered too. So we'll call this Sophia Chia Head Round Two. And we'll keep watching her as the weeks go on to see what she does. <laughs> Mmm, chicken. All right, so actually Chef Bark made some mashed potatoes and some veggies to go with it. So this is one half chicken. This is a four pound chicken. This is two pounds of meat here. Um, and it looks pretty good. It's, I thought it was darker than I liked, but then I'm remembering there's some darker chickens there too. And they seem to shrink back a little bit from the skin when they sit like under a heat lamp and those things. But I'm going to give a little nibble to ours. I haven't tried it yet. The skin is very crispy, which is good. Here we go. Just a little bite. Mm, okay. So the fry seasoning works very well. I'm almost getting like throwback rotisserie chicken vibes from like probably Wegmans. They have the nicer ones. Um, but it's been good. So what was good? What was bad about the caloric experience this time? Um, the caloric staves us from having to use the oven. It allows us to have features from appliances we don't own. We've been checking out a lot of the new features lately. Um, lately, I've been dehydrating everything under the sun. As I told you earlier, Mark will get some bags of frozen fruit from like Dollar Tree. And if I have some apples on their way out, just puree everything up and, and make them on the dehydrator setting. They take about three hours or so. And they're, they're fun. I can make some of those too. Um, the convenience, it's great for like warming up pizza. The air fryer portion is good for like egg rolls, munchy platter stuff, chicken fingers, all those things come out okay. They're one of the better success stories, I think, of the air fryer. As far as meat, I haven't cooked anything other than a rotisserie chicken and a meatloaf in there. Other stuff, like at Christmas, we're gonna use the regular oven. So those are the good things. Um, negative things that we found. The French doors that open, initially, Mark and I both were like, that's it's what one we liked about it. They're kind of flimsy when you open them. If you bump into them, they slam shut. If you go in to pull something out of the rack that's inside of it, and you bump the side, it'll close itself shut, and it's hot. You could burn yourself on it. So the French door thing in the front sounded cute and actually was a selling point, but I don't like it, honestly. I'd rather a pull-open door. Um, it would be less prone to injury for people who are accident prone like myself. The writing on the outside of it. So on the settings portion where it has air fryer baking, time up, time down, turn off, all the writing is gone over what each button is. So you just have to know, um, which is not a big deal, but I mean, I use it more often than Mark does. And there's no writing, there's nothing to see. So he, we have to, it's a team project because I remember what it used to say. Um, that was something that kind of irritated him. What else? Um, writing came off, the doors. I can't think of too much else bad. Like, But suffice it to say, I think it's pretty good. I actually like the caloric. It was, I think, a good investment because it's lasted more than like two weeks. Um, it's not the least expensive air fryer on the market, but I think for the fryers that are jumping from the basket, which I think most people... If they have an air fryer, it was their first one with the basket in it. Now they have the ones that look more like toaster ovens, like we were using now. I know Emeril Lagasse has one out. Um, there's a couple other people that throw their names on products that have a similar one out. So when you're Googling 
cooking times. Try to Google the name if you're looking of your machine to see what their recommended cooking times are. Not always helpful because this was still 10 minutes too raw when we pulled it on their clock, but um, finding the recipes and the times and everything, they're not universal because not all air fryers are the same, but close. And always temp. Always temp the meat. You don't want to get sick. You put in a lot of work, you had to wash your hands a thousand times, and then rub a chicken. The last thing you want to do is get yourself sick by not cooking it enough and cleaning up our space afterwards with something that's antibacterial. So, um, I will give the rotisserie two thumbs up, actually. If I'm going to judge the caloric rotisserie for the chicken that came out, the chicken looks good. It tastes good. It's not, like, burnt. It's not raw. Mark made some sides. And I have to say I approve. I love the wings. Usually wings are a part that I will take. Um, and they look, they look cute, too. So, I am giving an official two thumbs up to our caloric air fryer oven. We, we found out more and more features as we go. I'm interested in making yogurt in it, maybe next. Um, dehydrating some other stuff besides just fruit roll-ups, maybe some other things we have. Um, using it during the summer to dry some stuff and store for later. Certainly, every summer it seems like, even if you don't have a garden, you have enough zucchini to, you know, <laughs> fill up the back of a pickup truck. So... Um, so that's all we have for today. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here. Um, if you have any ideas for any products you'd like to see, definitely comment below and we'll see what we can see what we can find. Um, and that's all she wrote. So thank you all for joining and thank you all for watching. Please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. You get alerts when we have new videos and go live. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It's all in the description below. Thank you and we'll catch up with you soon. So I'm going to go enjoy my chicken. And maybe I'll share with Mark. We'll see. I probably will. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Say goodbye, Mark. <laughs>